The Trinity girls basketball team is looking to extend its winning streak to four games. The Titans third straight. Well, that was last night against Kidder County. The Lax Burlington was in the capital city on Tuesday, losing for the first time this season. This afternoon, the Lakers are in the Queen City for a Class A contest. Dickinson Trinity's Annabelle Sheeler had her long distance shooting eye working early. There she drains that three pointer from the wing for the Titans. DLB's immediately response was Logan Yistis. It's a nice pass over to Paige Berard, taking a beeline to the basket and scoring down lane for that easy two. Then the Titans' Ava Yonard drives just past the free throw line, pulls up for that nice jumper, hits nothing but net. This game stayed close the entire way. The Lakers' uh, Zana Berkeley takes a pass into the right corner and hits that one, and DLB wins it by the final of 46-45. to Lakers go to 7-1 and on the season. Well, one of the big benefits for the Bismarck Mandan teams in the WDA is not having to leave the Metro for a large number of your conference games. Case in point, tonight it's St. Mary's at Bismarck High. Now the Saints boys team just picked up their uh, its first win of the season earlier this week against Jamestown. It might not be a coincidence that they have one of their top scorers back in the lineup. The first few games, uh, we didn't have Christian. He's been back the, the last couple of games, which has been a good boost for us, especially offensively. But uh, I think our guys really started to find out um, how hard we need to play and how hard we need to guard defensively to stay in games, whether he's on the floor for us or not. Uh, you know, we had a couple really tight ones to start with uh, Shanley and Horse that we could have could have went either way. Uh, you know, and we just fell a little bit short. So uh, I think for our guys with a, a lot of new varsity experience, it's it's going back and watching the film and seeing the little things that we can take care of. So uh, it doesn't come down to one last possession at the end of the game for us. Benning hit six three-pointers and ended with 33 points in the win over the Blue Jays. Chris says it certainly helps when the first couple go down, but passing is the key. Once we get the ball moving back and forth, like on the third side, like we're really efficient. And I think great defense leads to our good offense, so just getting good stops. The boys are playing the back half of the doubleheader at the Carl Guard Gym. Well, the UND hockey team used an eight-game winning streak to go to the top of the pole, but their last three games heading into the break have been losses. The head coach says don't read too much into it. Like I always talk about the consistency of your group and consistently playing well or at a high level. I think that was attained, uh, you know, throughout the first half. Um, you know, I know everybody's getting caught up in the, the overtime losses, especially the most recent ones here. That doesn't take away what, what we've done here so far. And, you know, having only two regulation losses in the first half against some formidable competition is, 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 is a very good positive for us. UND gets back on the ice against the U.S. Under-18 team in an exhibition on December 30th. All right. Thanks, Lee. We'll be right back after this.